Hi folks, uh, been quite a while since I made a video about the electric Suzuki. Uh, it's been a long winter and it hasn't been great conditions to take it out and drive it for a video. Um, I have been driving it, but uh, not, not in conditions I wanted to record anything. Uh, driven it a lot in the snow and ice. Uh, it performs really well. Four wheel drive works great. Um, of course, the, the range is definitely less in cold weather. Uh, and I've, I've tried to avoid the really wet, sloppy weather where there's a lot of spray and water flying underneath the vehicle because I think I mentioned in a previous video, I didn't uh, really put a huge effort into waterproofing every connection and every terminal underneath this thing, uh, especially the rear uh, battery module. I, I do have some plans to try and waterproof that a little better, uh, which will help a lot. But uh, in any case, today it's finally up into the mid 50s Fahrenheit. Um, nice sunny day. And I think I've come up with a better way to uh, record uh, a driving video and also uh, show you the screen that shows the uh, DC bus voltage and the DC bus current as I drive, uh, which I think is what people wanted to see before. And I had the wrong screen on it, uh, the last driving video I did. So in any case, uh, we're gonna try and do better this time and, and we'll see how it goes. Um, starting out here in the garage, uh, I'm in low range. Uh, I'll go into reverse and just go ahead and back out. Uh, hopefully the light's okay. It's gonna get a lot brighter when we get out there into the sunshine. And hopefully the audio, you'll be able to hear the vehicle. Um, so down my driveway is pretty steep, so I leave it in low range and I use the, uh, the regen for braking. So you should see a negative DC current here. And regen kind of builds uh, the way I've got it set up right now. It's, it's a smooth application of regen, which is great for slick roads because it doesn't throw you into a slide by throwing a lot of negative torque onto the rear end. Okay, and this is a little quirk of this controller. If you can hear, uh, we're getting a little bit of regen kind of flutter, but there it stopped me completely. So I'm gonna go into high range now and pull out onto my dirt road here. And we'll go slow down the hill down the dirt road because it's still a little wet and sloppy here. Um, so right now, I'm just rolling down the dirt road at about nine miles an hour. And you can see we're just not pulling much power at all at these real low speeds. Uh, so it'll take us just a minute to get out to the highway. And that's where things will get interesting because you'll be able to see the, uh, see the load pick up. Give that remote out of there. Make so much noise. Hopefully the audio turns out okay inside here. There's a little bit of background noise, of course, from the road, the mud splattering on this dirt road. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. So this is about 15 miles an hour, going a slight downgrade. And now we're gonna go ahead and let Regen take over. Slow us down up to the stop sign. All right, we're going to go for about a half throttle acceleration here from zero up to 50 as I turn out onto the highway. It's about half throttle. 15 miles an hour. There's 25, 30, 35, 40. 45 and 50 miles an hour is the speed limit. So I'll back out of the throttle here and that's 50 right there. I'm at about maybe 20% throttle to maintain 50 miles per hour. Um, I did unlock the hubs for this drive. So the front drive line is not spinning. Um, so yeah, here's steady, steady run, flat road, straight road, 50 miles per hour. We may have a slight headwind here, but it's pretty, pretty calm today. Uh, cruising right along, 48 miles an hour, 
Now here in just a second, uh, we're going to start dropping down a little bit of a hill and then we'll come to an intersection where I'll, where I'll turn around and we'll get a pretty good regen pull going down this hill and into that intersection. And I've got regen set on about, I think it's like 28% or so right now. That's regen down the hill. We're slowing down. That's 40 miles an hour. 35. 30. And I regen a little too too much there. I got to add a little bit of throttle back to get it all the way to the intersection here. There's 20 miles an hour now. All right. And we're going to actually have to hit the throttle a little bit to get where we're going. So I'm going to pull into the intersection here. Uh, looks like the spot I was going to turn around as a sheriff's deputy there, just chatting with somebody, but we'll uh, get in front of them and get turned around. All right, so I'm going to U-turn here. Coming up to the stop sign. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throttle up pretty hard coming off of this stop sign. We'll do a little harder acceleration. You get to see it amp up. Uh, this controller is rated for 750 amps, but that's not continuous. It would overheat at that rate. But we'll see what we get to here. Okay, there's about 70%, 75%, maybe 80% throttle. And yeah, we're at 35 miles an hour now. 45, 50. Got to back out of it already. So that performance right there, uh, as you might imagine, pretty much blows away the old IC engine that was in this thing. Uh, this had a 1.8 liter four cylinder, and uh, you know, as you shifted through the gears with a manual transmission, you might be half that fast if you're lucky. Uh, so I'm really happy with the performance of it. Now, again, this is with no gear reduction at all between the electric motor and the transfer case. Uh, we're just making use of the low axle ratio this thing has, about five and a quarter to one. Uh, so here I am back at about 50 miles an hour, 51 maybe, uh, cruising back the other direction on that same flat stretch of highway. Um, so you can see the amp pull. It's like we're pulling about 170 amps. That's pretty interesting because last summer in what much warmer weather, I was pulling about 140 amps at this speed. So uh, the temperature really has a big impact on performance of the whole system. And we're going to go ahead and bypass my little dirt road here, and I'll go into a, a slower zone, a school zone here, new 25 for just a little bit. And you can see how much amperage we pull at 25. So cruising along at 50, I got a speed limit sign up here where we got to slow down. So I'm going to go ahead and let regen slow us down. You can see the negative amperage. Now we're down to 35. And then the school zone starts at 25 right about here. So here's 25 miles per hour. And 24, 25 miles per hour. That takes about maybe 10% throttle. It uses very little power to go to the speed. Um, looks like we're pulling about 75 amps. So it's a little less than half of the 50 mile an hour steady state amperage, uh, which makes sense because the drag, of course, goes up as the square of speed when you're talking about wind drag. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull into a side street and turn around. And we'll head back to my place, and you can watch the amperage as we climb the steep hill back into my driveway. Okay. Accelerating back up to 25. Okay, we're 
625 again. I think we got a slight tailwind, maybe a slight downhill here because we're pulling a lot less amperage at 25 going this direction than we were a few minutes ago. Okay, gonna go ahead and accelerate up to 35. And now back up to 50, which is pretty spirited. And right back up to my dirt road here. I gotta use some friction brakes here because I got pretty excited there. All right. So should have had some regen along with the friction brakes there. I can't watch the screen the whole time to see how much negative amperage we get. But. Okay, so what I like to do is go ahead and put it in low range at the bottom of this hill on the dirt road just because it's easier on the whole system to run with a little less torque. So I just have my twin stick transfer case, throw it in low range, and off we go again. I do have to stop to make that shift between high and low range with the transfer case, of course. There's, I'm not aware of any OEM transfer cases that are synchronized. Um, probably the only inconvenience to not having a, a transmission still in the system. I'm climbing the hill here. Uh, it reads, I'm reading about 20 miles per hour right now on my, my motor readout, which tells me that I'm really doing about 10 because this transfer case in low range is about two to one reduction. And that's what my speedometer in the dash says about 10. Luckily this vehicle has an old mechanical speedometer cable, so I didn't have to worry about programming that. Just hooked it back up whenever I put everything back together. Okay, now we're about to climb the, the steep hill in my driveway. So, this takes about 40 to 50% torque to get up this hill. Just 10 miles an hour up the hill and into the garage we go. Hopefully this is interesting. Hopefully it's a better video than the last time I did a driving video. And, uh, Thanks for watching.